All right, hey guys. So what we're gonna do today is a uh, is a fairly hard algorithm. It's marked as uh, medium on Leak Code, but I mean, it's actually pretty. It's actually quite hard if you don't know the steps to do it. Like if you just sit down, you don't know any kind of the tricks or anything. If you just sit down to try to do this on your own, it's quite hard to figure out. So um, I figure I'd make a little tutorial on it. So it's called the next permutation algorithm. So uh, this is the array of, these are the numbers that we're going to work with, but let's take an easy example of like one, two, three. So what would the next permutation of this be? Meaning the next number uh, that you could rearrange the numbers within the array and get the next number uh, that would that would occur. It would be one, uh, three, two. And you can see that just as you look at it, you could, you would stay in the hundreds and you would just flip three and two around. So you'd go from 123 to 132, the next one would probably be two one three, and then after that it would probably be two three one. Then after that it would be three one two. You know, you get the idea. Um, but what do you do? That's fairly easy because it's only three numbers long. But what if it's uh, you know many numbers long? So there's an algorithm that you can that you can figure this out with. So there are three main steps to it. Uh, the first thing you want to do is find the peak number. Then you want to find next largest number the right of the peak, then you want to reverse, uh, flip those numbers, flip peak minus one and largest number to right of peak, and then you want to reverse from peak to end of R. Okay, so that's, you know, that's basically the steps. So we'll write the algorithm out and you can see as we're going. So basically it would go like this. Let's do it on this big algorithm. Uh, first thing we want to do is find the peak number. So we start at the end and reverse iterate through. This is r dot length minus one. So this is i right now. So is one greater than three? No. Is three greater than five? No. Is five greater than six? No. Is six greater than seven? No. Is seven greater than four? Yes. So seven would be our peak that we would set. So seven would be our peak. Then we would go peak minus one. So minus one would be set right here at four. And we would, again, reverse iterate to the end of this string, from the end of the string. And then we call this j. So we want j to the first number that is larger than peak minus 1 on the right side of peak. So j is, is 1 greater than 4? No. Is 3? No. Is 5? Yes. So what you would want to do, you can just call this x. You would want to flip x and peak minus 1. So we would flip 5 and then 4 right here. Then, after we've done that, we want to go from peak, we'll set that up as start, and then at the end of the array, we'll set that up as end. Then you just want to reverse these elements right here, and that'll give you the next permutation, right? So unless you, again, like, unless you know that uh, algorithm off the top of your head and the tricks involved there, therein, uh, it would kind of be hard to figure that up on the spot. So I don't even know that this would be something that they would ask at like a job interview. It's just something to know, I guess. So anyways, function, we'll just go next permutation and we'll pass in an array. And then with that, again, we'll find the peak first. So let's go for let i equal r.length i greater than or equal to zero i minus minus because we're reverse iterating through so we want to declare peak up here, so let's go let peak. And then here we can go if r at i is greater than r at i minus 1, then we found our peak. We'll set peak equals i. And then we'll break out of this loop, or this, yeah, this for loop. Um, also, we want to, if we do get down to 0 here, so we'll just say if i is equal to zero, then we'll just set the peak uh, equal to zero. Um, that's just a check. Um, so then the next thing that we want to do is we want to reverse iterate with j and find the largest number on the right of the peak. So find largest number on right of peak. So let's go let j equal r dot length minus one uh, j greater than or equal to zero j minus minus so again what we're doing is we'll go we're comparing and and once we find it we'll flip we'll flip the indices so we'll go if r at j 
is greater than r at peak minus 1, then what we want to do is flip those arrays. So we'll go let temp equal r at j. And to flip elements in an array, you just bring in a temp variable. And we'll go r at j equals r at peak minus 1. r at peak minus 1 equals temp. And then we want to break out of this, right? So what we do, set j up as a temporary variable. Uh, we set a temporary variable up to j. Then we set j to peak minus 1, and then peak minus 1 to what j was, which is the temp variable. So that's just, that's just indices flipping. So now what we want to do is we want to reverse. So we, at this point, we have we've switched this 4 and this 5, now we just want to reverse from the 7 to the end, so from the peak to the end, so we'll just go uh, reverse from peak to end of R. So we'll go let start equal peak, let end equal r.length minus 1, and so in our while loop we'll just go while start is less than end because if they overlap we want to break out of the loop we'll go while start is less than end we'll go r or we'll go let temp equal r at start r at start equals r at end r at end equals temp then we want to in, uh, increase start and decrease end, decrement end, and then we just return R. Okay, so that's pretty nasty, all of that code written together like that, and I'll put all this on GitHub. I'll leave a link for it in the description. Uh, so now what we want is we have this array right here, and I know that the output should be this, so let's just save this and let's run it, so node. Uh, 31 next permutation. So 1585. So 1584. So 1584. 1347. Hmm. Well, something went wrong here. Tempe will start. Did I not break out of this properly? Do I have the wrong array written down? Hang on. Let me make sure I got the right array written down. One five eight four seven six five three one one five eight four seven six five three one should end up with one five eight five one one five eight five one three four six seven three four six seven ended up with one five eight five one three four six seven. Oh, okay, that's right. Okay, I was like, what? One five eight five one one five eight five one. 1, Three, four, six, seven. Three, four, six, seven. Okay, cool. So it did work. So I was like, dude, there's no way that I made a mistake on this. Uh, because once you know the, the trick, it's not necessarily super hard. So let's just run through it one more time. So the first thing that we do is we find a peak right here. Uh, if we do find a peak, we break out of it. Then we do another for loop, and we find the next largest number to the right of that and flip that with peak minus 1. And then we do a start and end at peak and the length of the array, and then we reverse all of those elements, and that gives us the next permutation. So I don't see you getting that asked on any kind of interview question, but it is good for learning how to flip elements in an array, learning how to kind of have a more complicated algorithm and to use several for loops to do it. Uh, this, again, going into big O notation, if they ask you what the big O notation of it would be, you could say it would be, well, it's technically uh, one, two, Three, about 3n, three uh, but you can simplify that down just to O of n because we have no nested for loops. We have no, if you do have constants like, oh, there's three for loops in it, you can kind of get rid of that. So just O of n time complexity, linear time complexity, that's uh, probably your best answer for this, which is good because instead of doing a brute force solution to where you would just be, you know, checking, running through a bunch of different numbers to check what the next one was. So this is a better solution than that, and O of n is pretty good time complexity for this. So anyways, hope it helped. Um, yeah, take it easy.